Jan Ozer here. Green screen effects are very popular in web video, and Premiere Pro makes them very easy to apply. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Premiere Pro's Ultra Key Filter and how to clean your edges with a garbage mat. We're going to look at three videos from Easy to Hard, and this is the first video. And when I say easy, I mean the background is, is pretty evenly lit, which makes it very, very easy to, to pull a clean key. It's also HD footage and fairly, fairly recent. Shot that this week. So it's, um, it's got crisp edges, clean background, well-lit background, pretty easy to key. Now, the filters I'm going to be working with today are all in the keying folder in the Video Effects tab. And it's the Ultra Key, which I've applied to all three clips, and then the 16-point garbage mat, which I've applied to the third clip. So first thing you do when you want to apply a color key is you click the color key eyedropper, and then you choose an area in the background that you want to click to set the key color. Now, before you click, uh, take a close look at the eyedropper when I do this. I'm going to press the control key on this uh, HP workstation I'm working on. On the Mac, it would be command key. And you can see the eyedropper get a bit fatter. And when you press the control or command key, basically Premiere Pro tells the eyedropper to sample a 5x5 five five pixel block, which typically gets you a, a pretty accurate result. So different authorities tell you different places to click. In, in this particular clip, because the, the lighting is so even, it really doesn't matter. But some people say click in the darkest region. Some people say click in the lightest region. Some people say click in the, in the medium regions. And we're going to look at that in, in, in the next clip where it's going to make a difference. Here it makes no difference. I'm just going to choose an area, press control, and then click. And then we've selected our key color. And we can see that we've got pretty clean edges here, but we have see some background bleeding through. So that's a problem area we want to address. Now, Ultra Key has got a bunch of controls that are very, very good for experts, but, but can be tedious and can also be time consuming to apply if you apply them all individually. Fortunately, what Adobe did was create some presets that work really, really well. And, and that's what I'm going to show you for the most part in this tutorial. So watch the transparent background showing through over my left shoulder. And then when I choose aggressive, the transparency pretty much goes away. Now, one useful tool in the Ultra Key is the Alpha Channel View. And in the Alpha Channel View, the black is the background that's going to be eliminated. The white is what's going to remain in the clip. And if you have white, white, and then black, black, so there's no gray areas, there's no black spots in here, it tells you that you've got a pretty clean key, particularly if the edges are clean, as we see here. Go back to Composite View, go back to Fit. It's always useful to scroll through the video and make sure there's no problem areas. Okay, so that looks pretty good throughout. I would say we're pretty much done with this one. Let me move over to the next one, which is a, a clip that I shot a few years ago. The background here, you can see the variations in lighting, as, as I discussed uh, a few minutes ago. This is the brightest area. This is the darkest area. And we've got the Ultra Key applied. And let me go straight to Alpha Channel View so we can see the differences that we get by clicking different areas in the clip. And let me set this at aggressive because that's what I'm going to do anyway as soon as I pick the key color. And we'll see a pretty big difference in overall result based upon where we click in the video. So click this to make it active. And if we click the whitest regions, we see big problem areas down here. This is the darkest area in the background, and that's going to be the hardest to clean up. So if I can choose an area that cleans this up for me, then I think we're, we're in better shape than we are here. We started with a, a bright region. Let's choose a dark region and see what it looks like. So I'm going to press Control again and then click down here. So we end up with a near-perfect key totally based upon where we clicked on the background. So it is important to try different areas to, to give you the best starting point for the customization that you're going to do. So let me come back here to Composite View. And actually, this is, this is a pretty clean key. I mean, we can zoom in, and we can scroll down here. And, you know, there's a little bit of edge that you might want to clean up a little bit, you know, with the choke. Okay, so if I go crazy with it, you see it's, you know, you see the result. It was set at 10 by the aggressive setting. So maybe if we go up to 18, we, we lose a little bit of the edge, maybe soften it a bit more and then s look through the rest of the video. Problems with pushing this too much is, you know, you see the effect on the hair. So you want to, you know, always balance how much detail you remove with, uh, with any corrections on the edges here. Let me go back to Fit. Let me go back to Alpha Channel View. Let me scroll through the video a bit. 
and we see that we've got a pretty clean key here as well. So let's move on to the third video. And this is the toughest video of all. We've got really dark areas here. This clip was probably shot in the late 90s. It was shot with pretty low quality source footage. We see dark areas here. We see graininess throughout. So let's see how good a key we can pull on this particular footage. So I'm going to go into alpha channel view, go into aggressive mode, click the eyedropper, and actually that, that does pretty well right off the bat. We've got some edge issues there, we've got some edge issues here, um, but that's a pretty decent result right from the start. Let me go back to composite view. Let me, let me scroll over to, a, to an area where we see a problem with the edge. And we see a little bit of roughness there, so let's zoom in on that. And again, if we wanted to eliminate that or reduce it, we could adjust the choke a little bit. We don't want to go too far because we lose some important detail. But if we come here and come here, we do soften the edge a bit. And scrolling through the key in the video, you know, it looks pretty good, except for the problem areas down here. And let's look at how we can address those. Let's go back to Alpha Channel. So we've got a little bit of an edge there, a little bit of an edge there. And that's basically what the 16-point garbage mat does for you. So what we do here is we apply the 16-point garbage mat to this clip here. And what the garbage mat lets you do, you click it to make it active, and then you see all these points. And what the garbage mat does is it clears out the garbage outside the box that you select. So if we do this and this, we're basically telling Premiere Pro to ignore anything over here, ignore anything over here, which were the two problem areas in the clip. And let me go back to composite. If we scroll through the video, we see that all the issues that we had were gone. And if we toggle this effect off, we see the dark area here and the dark area here. And if we target the garbage mat on again, we see that those problems have disappeared. When you apply a garbage mat, you want to make sure that you scroll through the video carefully and make sure that you don't cut off a hand or a head or a, or a foot. In this case, you know, she's operating well within the square, so that's not going to be a problem. And, you know, starting from a pretty hard clip to green screen, or in this case, blue screen, we ended up pulling a pretty good key by using the Ultra Key Filter and the 16-point garbage mat. So, now you know how to pull a clean green screen key in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm Jan Ozer. Go forth and conquer. <laughs>